Hi! Welcome to our channel. Here, we provide unbiased reviews based on product quality to make your purchase decision easy. You can actually see the product demonstration before you buy. Here are our top 5 picks. This is our number 1 recommendation. That means this is the top pick based on our research work. We push the limits of what's possible to craft the future of handheld camera stabilization. Introducing DJI RS2, a versatile, powerful platform built to take your shots to the next level. RS2 goes beyond stabilization, giving you complete control right at your fingertips. RS2 is light enough to take anywhere and strong enough to handle any setup with the reimagined carbon fiber construction, allowing you to capture your shots with effortless versatility. We've also added more mounting and expansion options for an endless range of shooting scenarios. Our Titan stabilization algorithm ensures smooth, stable footage. Activate super smooth to adjust torque and motor control to eliminate even the smallest vibrations. Traditional setups get a cutting edge upgrade with our RavenEye wireless transmission system, enabling simplified remote viewing and control. Essential features like Active Track 3.0 are now accessible directly on the full color touchscreen. Our 3D focus system gives you pinpoint autofocus even when using manual lenses. Using TOF sensors, this system measures the distance between your camera and the subject, adjusting focus quickly and flawlessly even in low light. From solo shoots to larger productions, RS2 offers the complete package to get the shots you need. Turn your visual possibilities into cinematic reality with DJI RS2. This is our third recommendation. Just kidding, you're not done. The Crane M2 should be ready to go straight out of the box, but let's go ahead and go over how the gimbal works so that you can operate it with ease. On the back of the Crane M2, you'll find a joystick to control the gimbal movements as well as navigate through the menu options. To access the menu, push the menu button on the side of the gimbal. Now you can see the menu options on the OLED display. In the menu, you can control the motor strength of the gimbal, connect to your camera via Wi-Fi, and even save different camera setups using history. On the side of the gimbal is a USB-C port to charge the M2, as well as update the firmware of the gimbal with a computer. And you can find out how to do that on the Zhiyun website. On the front of the gimbal is the trigger button, and on the back is the mode button, which both can enable different gimbal modes of the Crane M2. We'll get to that in a second. Next to the mode button is the photo video button, which of course records videos or takes photos when your camera is connected to the gimbal. Connecting your camera to the gimbal is actually pretty easy. Let me show you. Depending on what kind of camera you have, you can wirelessly connect your camera to the Crane M2 via Wi-Fi. For this demonstration, I'm using the Sony a6400, and all I'm going to do is open up the Wi-Fi connectivity so that it can be detected by the gimbal. Once Wi-Fi is enabled, open up the menu and select Wi-Fi by pressing right on the joystick. Give it a few seconds and the Crane M2 should automatically connect to your camera. Pretty cool. Now you can control the basic functions of the camera like record, take a photo, and even zoom. So cool. Now let's talk about the different gimbal modes. The default mode of the Crane M2 is pan follow mode, which enables just the pan axis. In this mode, you're able to capture smooth shots without having to worry about any movements from the tilt axis. 
If you're in a different gimbal mode and you want to quickly go back to pan follow mode, just simply press the mode button in the back once. To enable follow mode, press the trigger button once. In this mode, all axes are enabled and you can move the gimbal in any direction. Press the trigger button twice to reset the gimbal back to its original position and press it three times to enable selfie mode so that you can film smooth looking vlogs. To enable lock mode, press the mode button once. In this mode, all axes are locked and you can then film smooth cinematic shots down a straight line. This mode is also great for creative gimbal movements like rising low angle shots. To enable POV mode, press the mode button again from lock mode. In this mode, the gimbal can now roll your camera left or right. This makes for really cool and dynamic shots that are different than traditional gimbal movements. To enable go mode, press the mode button twice. In this mode, you can do quick pan movements to capture fast action scenes like sports or just running around with your kids. From go mode, press the mode button twice again to enable the last gimbal mode, vortex mode. In this mode, you can rotate your camera setup in an infinite loop to create mesmerizing shots which makes for a really cool effect. The last thing that I'm going to show you is how to connect your gimbal to your phone using the ZY Play app. First, download the ZY Play app onto your device and turn on the Crane M2. Once downloaded, open up the app and your phone should be able to detect the gimbal automatically. Tap on your specific gimbal and you're connected. Next, you'll see two options, camera and smartphone. Let's start with camera mode. In camera mode, you'll be able to control the movements of your gimbal with the joystick and slider. And depending on what kind of camera you have, you can even control the basic functions of your camera like record video, take photos, and even zoom. To connect your camera wirelessly via the ZY Play app, make sure you enable the Wi-Fi connectivity on your camera so that the Crane M2 can detect it. On the app, tap the Wi-Fi icon and select your device. Some cameras like the A6400 even have a QR code to make it easier to connect to. If that's the case, use the QR code scanner within the app to connect to your camera. Going back to the app, there's an icon you can tap to open up options for panoramic photography, time-lapse, and trajectory photography. With trajectory photography, you can position the gimbal in any direction and then add waypoints within the app to make a motion time-lapse. Lastly, the icons on top indicate if you're connected to the gimbal via Bluetooth, a camera via Wi-Fi, and additional settings to calibrate your gimbal. In smartphone mode, it's just as you'd expect where you can use your phone as a camera on the Crane M2. Here, you can select different options like record in 4K, HDR, take panoramics, and all the usual functions most smartphones have to capture video and photo. But the really cool thing about smartphone mode is that you can track objects and the Crane M2 will follow. So cool. And that's it. Well, I know that was a lot of information, but congrats, you did it, you made it through. And also congrats again for purchasing the Crane M2. It's a great little gimbal. And if you do have any further questions, then by all means, use a service card that came with the Crane M2 to help answer any questions that you may have. But you are now ready to film some smooth cinematic shots and tell some awesome stories with the Crane M2. All right, guys, I'm out of here and I'll see you in the next one. This is our fourth recommendation. VU AK-2000C Working Mode Introduction AK-2000C is a three-axis stabilizer, separately tilt axis, roll axis, pan axis. Long press power button to power on the gimbal. The default mode is pan mode. Lens follows handles left-right movement. Keep still in other directions. single tap mode button or the corresponding icon on the screen to enter lock mode. Lens's orientation is fixed under lock mode. Double tap the mode button or tap the corresponding icon on the screen to enter follow mode. Pan axis and tilt axis follow the handle's movement roll axis keeps still. Triple tap mode button or tap the corresponding icon on the screen to enter all follow mode. All three axis follows the handle's movement. Press the trigger button to enter follow mode.
triple tap the trigger button or swipe the screen to the left. Tap selfie. Gimbal enter or quit selfie mode. This is our fifth recommendation. So, this is our top 5 picks. If you like to know more about the products or want to purchase, please visit the link in the description. We provide discount coupons and free product samples to our subscribers periodically. Please like and subscribe our channel and leave a comment if you want to receive discount coupons and free product samples. Thank you for watching.